sodium hydroxide or NaOH it is also called as caustic soda caustic soda okay and NaOH is manufactured by the electrolyzing of brine solution or NaCl solution using mercury cathode and carbon anode in a cell called Krasnoyarsky cell okay so it is manufactured by electrolyzing brine or NaCl solution using mercury cathode and carbon anode in Krasnoyarsky cell so Krasnoyarsky cell is a cell used for the manufacture of uh, sodium hydroxide or caustic soda okay so what happens is sodium metal get discharged at the cathode and it combines with mercury mercury the cathode is mercury so it combines with mercury and forms sodium amalgam and the reaction will be na plus plus electron okay get discharged and reacts with uh, uh, mercury and forms sodium amalgam taking place at cathode and at anode chlorine gas is liberated that is 2 Cl minus gives Cl2 gas and 2 electron it's taking place at anode okay these are the reactions taking place next sodium amalgam formed is in then in contact with water present there and gives sodium hydroxide and H2 gas okay so sodium amalgam in contact with water to H2O gets converted into NaOH H2 gas and mercury okay so sodium hydroxide can be manufactured by this process by using the cell called Krasnoyarsky cell next properties of sodium hydroxide properties first point NaOH is a white translucent solid it's a white translucent translucent means it is semi transparent solid okay next point sodium hydroxide melts at 591 kelvin melts at 591 kelvin third point it is readily soluble in water and the solution is a strong alkali readily soluble in water and the solution obtained is strong is a strong alkali okay strong alkali next fourth property crystals of sodium hydroxide are deliquescent crystals of sodium hydroxide are deliquescent it is it absorbs moisture okay next sodium hydroxide solution present at the surface it reacts with carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere and form sodium carbonate okay sodium hydroxide at the surface reacts with carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and form sodium carbonate these are the important properties of sodium hydroxide next uses uses first point it is used in the manufacture of soap then paper industry artificial silk and number of chemicals okay used in the manufacture of soap paper then artificial silk and number of chemicals okay 
number of chemicals second point it is used in petroleum refining petroleum refining it is used in the purification of bauxite purification of bauxite in the manufacture in the extraction of in the extraction of aluminium okay bauxite is the ore of aluminium by the using for the purification of bauxite we are using sodium hydroxide and next it is used for mercerizing cotton and manufacture of rayon mercerizing cotton mercerizing cotton and manufacture of rayon next point it is used as a laboratory reagent laboratory reagent and it can be used for the preparation of pure fats and oils used for the preparation of pure fats and oils these are the important uses of sodium hydroxide sodium hydrogen carbonate or nacho3 it is also called as baking soda because on heating it decomposes and generate bubbles of carbon dioxide generate bubbles of carbon dioxide so it is called as baking soda okay next preparation it's prepared by saturating the solution of sodium carbonate with carbon dioxide gas preparation prepared by saturating a solution of sodium carbonate saturating a solution of sodium carbonate with carbon dioxide gas okay saturating sodium carbonate with carbon dioxide gas so uh, nhco3 you know nhco3 is uh, insoluble it is less soluble okay and it precipitates out as white solid okay so nh2co3 solution and carbon dioxide reacts and form nhco3 okay so this nhco3 is less soluble in water and it's a white solid okay next uses what are the uses of sodium bicarbonate uh, this sodium hydrogen carbonate is also called as sodium bicarbonate okay and it is used as baking soda first point used as baking soda because on heating it decomposes and form bubbles of carbon dioxide which makes the cakes fluffy and light okay so it is used as baking soda next it is used as a mild antiseptic for skin infection mild antiseptic for skin infection next point it is used in fire extinguishers used in fire extinguishers okay these are the uses 